find the equation of a line passing through the pair of points. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. First ordered pair is 10 comma negative 35 and the second ordered pair is 8 comma negative 27. Okay, the first uh, thing we need to think about here is kind of what kind of information are we being given? Well, we're given a point, uh, two, two points. Points and ordered pairs are kind of, you know, referred to interchangeably, but they're the same thing. Uh, what we're being given here is an ordered pair 10 comma negative 35, and we're given a second ordered pair, which is 8 comma negative 27. So what we uh, are thinking about is, you know, what, what is it that we're trying to accomplish here? We're being asked to find an equ the equation of a line that passes through these two points if we were to graph them, it, it would graph as a line. Um, so how can we use two points to develop an equation? Because ultimately what we're being asked to find is the equation of that line that connects these two points, it passes through these two points. So what we can do is employ, uh, what we can do is employ, use the algebraic definition of slope algebraic definition of slope and you know slope is represented by the variable m usually algebraic definition of slope and what that formula it's a formula looks like is slope equals you know I've heard you know several people you know um, make try to make it easier to remember by saying wine glasses over picnic table and if we're using the analogy of you know wine has got alcohol in it and you know in some states you have to be 20 excuse me you have to be 21 to drink alcohol legally uh, x2 minus x1 you know it's like 2 and 1 you know so if wine glasses over picnic table that gets the y's up here and the x's down here 21 21 and uh, according to the American Medical Association, it is a negative thing to drink alcohol in any amount. So <laughs> when we use these uh, analogies, we can easily write the algebraic definition of slope. So here's a formula that we can use to get slope. Now, once we have a slope, then we're going to have also two points. So the idea behind this is we can calculate a slope, then we can use either of these two points um, a second way to not only help us to calculate slope but also to use one of those points to submit uh, substitute into uh, values into the point slope form and then from there on we'll proceed to uh, rewrite that equation into slope intercept form so let's go ahead and get started so what we have here is let's find the slope first get this ready for substitution this formula get ready for substitution and what we're going to use is we're going to use these two points for x1, y1, and x2, y2. So here comes, let's maybe make them in blue. Here's x1, y1. And it doesn't matter whether you make this point x1, y1, or this point x1, y1. You just have to commit to it. If we're going to make this point x1, y1, then we're going to make this point x2, y2. And um, we're going to start substituting these into the slope formula. So y2 is going to go in this blank. y2 is negative 27. Negative 27. Uh, y1 is going to go into this um, uh, set of parentheses. y1 is negative 35. x2 from our points up there are gonna, is going to go into this point. X2 is 8. And X1 is going to go into this last set of parentheses, and that's a 10. Now if I just use my calculator, it'll help us to simplify um, the slope. And so what we get in the numerator is negative uh, 27 and we're going to go minus negative 35 and what I get is 8 I get 8 using my calculator 8 minus 10 well I get a negative 2 and when we combine these 
I just did that one in my head. And then eventually here we get positive divided by negative makes negative. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So here's what we get for slope. The slope of the line that connects, you know, passes through these two points is negative 4. Okay, we have slope calculated. We have uh, our, we have our uh, two points that we uh, are, were given information about. And now I think we can proceed to use point slope form. We're going to substitute. Let's make, let's just go over here. Now we're going to substitute our values of slope and x1, y1. Let's use this point, x1, y1. We could use the other point as well, but these already match the formula that's coming up. We're going to substitute our values of slope and x1, y1 into what's called a uh, point slope form. Point slope form. Point slope form it looks like this. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The m is our m, you know, the slope of the line that you can substitute in for the actual value. x1 and y1 come from from the point that we're either point. We could use either one. We're, we've already have this one, first point labeled as x1, y1. So I'm going to go ahead and make parentheses. I always substitute with parentheses for three things in this equation. Okay, and those things, what are they? They are m. m is negative 4. Uh, if I keep things, you know, in, let's just say, you know, different colors for now, here comes, you know, x1. x1 was 10 from our point. y1, you know, is the y coordinate. We're using the x and the y coordinates from this point, x1 and y1, negative 35, negative 35. And now that we have those, we can proceed to simplify uh, both sides. Let's see what we get here. First of all, if I say, you know, minus a negative, that's the same as plus a positive. Uh, and what we can do now is just say y plus 35 equals well, what we're looking at here is an opportunity to just distribute our slope, this negative 4, to both terms. Negative times an invisible positive 1 coefficient here. There's an invisible positive 1 in front of x. Negative times positive is negative. 4 times 1 is 4. And there's a variable x. Now, negative times negative is positive. 4 times 10 is 40. So we simplified the right side by removing the grouping symbols. And now we might think about, you know, rewriting this equation in slope intercept form. Here's what we need to do next. If we were to subtract 35 from the left side, eliminate the 35 from the left side, and then balance the equation by eliminating or balance the equation by also subtracting 35 from the right, what we would get is positive 5. We haven't touched this negative 4x. And we also haven't touched this y. So if we proceed to simplify, y plus 0, anything plus 0 is itself, y equals negative 4x plus 5. Now at this point, if we went ahead and did that, move the constant, you know, 35 over, it has the effect of looking like moving it. We have to think now, have we achieved um, rewriting this uh, equation into slope intercept form. Well, here's what slope intercept form is. Positive 1y equals mx plus b. Do we have in our equation, you know, just by moving the 35 over to the right side, combining it with the other constant 40, we ended up leaving y by itself on the left equals a number times x 
the m time, times x, that's the first term, plus a constant. So we have achieved writing this equation in slope-intercept form. The slope-intercept, the m is the slope, and the b uh, in this form is the y-intercept in the form of a point whose x-coordinate is 0 and a point whose y-coordinate is this number b. So uh, I believe we've achieved that goal. We've rewritten the equation into slope-intercept form. So let's circle our what we want as our final answer. Let me circle this in red and see which of these uh, answer choices match our equation of y equals negative 4x plus 5. Now all of these choices have y equals um, to begin the equation, so those are all good. Uh, negative 4x. We're looking for on the right side negative 4x. Well this is a positive 4x so that's not right. A is not our answer. Here answer choice B. This is a negative 1 fourth. That doesn't match our slope. Our slope is a positive 4 so B can't be the answer. Now I look at C. Uh, we have negative 4x. That's great. That's a possibility. C is a possibility. How about D? 1 fourth x. That can't be right because one positive 1 fourth is not the same slope as our negative 4. D can't be right. Now I'm going to go back and check is our uh, intercept, our y-intercept, plus 5? For answer choice C, it is. Here is a correct uh, equation. So we will make our selection, if this is a multiple choice exam or test, as answer choice C. I hope that helps.